Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm really excited with today's project. We will be making a punch needle version of a slip-on shoes using these Bodie's non-slip sole. I'm really excited to get started. Let's go. You will need some paper, marker and pencil. A snap frame. Backing fabric to punch your design on. Your Bodie's sole. A punch needle. Sewing pin. Bead size sewing needles. A measuring tape. And fabric scissors. Some wool some sequins and beads of your choice, thread and threader. Measure your foot. You would want to measure from one end at the bottom to the other end. Create a stencil of the top part of your shoes using paper to make sure they will fit properly on the Bodie's soles. Use your stencil to plan out your design. Trace your design onto the backing fabric using a marker or a felt tip. To create a stencil for the opposite foot, flip your already drawn stencil over and trace with a marker. Then trace that onto the fabric. This will give you a mirror effect when wearing your slippers. Now that the stenciling is done, let's start punching. I decided to add some hand stitching to my design. You don't need to do this and you can continue using your punch needle. I wanted to add some sequins to my slippers, so I decided to hand sew them into this section.
filling in the last section of the design. Now that it's almost done, I decided to add some beads on top. You don't need to do this if you don't wish to add beads, but I feel like it elevates the design and gives it an extra bling. Once all that is done, I cut out the design making sure I leave enough space around the outside for me to sew the inner lining fabric and to sew the design onto the soles. I am now tracing and cutting out the fabric for the inner lining. Sew the lining together with your finished design. Now it's time to attach your design onto your bodhi soles. This was easier than I had imagined. Keep in mind that when you are attaching your design onto the bodhi's sole, they need to line up properly from one end to the other when you are stitching it up. I was so excited with the result and to see the slippers come to life. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me create these lovely slippers. Uh, I will have a list of materials in the description below. For those that are wanting to create the same pattern as the one that I've created, I will also list that down in the link in the description. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about these shoes. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!